Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you in Articulate Storyline 360 how to lock down the navigation so a user can't click on any of these until they've visited the slide, but to have it so that they can click on these slides if they've been to them once already. Let me show you what I mean. First off, I'll close the preview. Quickly need to jump into my video here. Um, make sure you stick around and watch the whole video. I'm going to show you how to do the whole restricted menu thing. Also, there's something really important I need to show you relating to the next button because if you don't follow my steps relating to the next button, then user navigation will be impacted. Anyway, on with the video. The way to do this is to go to player along the top, then go to menu. In the menu section, go to the cog icon here, which is labeled as additional options. And you've got a menu. Now I've got it as restricted, but if you're in here, you'll probably show it as free. So if you have it as free, it means they can go anywhere they want, but what you want is restricted. And then once you've chosen restricted, click OK. Click OK again. Let's preview this and I'll show you it working. So I'll preview the entire project. So if I click Start, you can see this one's now ticked. If we go to next, you can see this one here's ticked. Go to next, this one here's ticked. Now, I can't click on these. I'm trying to click, but I can't progress. What I can do though, I can go backwards. I can go to back to any of the ones that I've already been on. So I'm on this one here. So the next one's restricted, I can't get to it. If I click next, I can now see it because I'm on it and I can go back to the previous slide. If I show you the other options that are available, so I'll close this preview, I'll go to player, same place, I'll go to the menu, I'll choose the cog icon down here. If I go to free, I'll show you what it looks like. Click OK, OK again, preview, entire project. Now previously it was all locked down, you could see that because it had the lock icon. But this time there's no lock icons, so I can go anywhere I want. Slide eight, slide 10, slide five, slide three. I can name any sequence I want, which is what you might want for the user. But it's up to you. So there you go, I've been to all of them now. That's the free option. Close the preview. If I once again go into player, I'll show you the other option which is locked. Click OK, click OK again. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to preview the entire project. So this one's ticked, click Start. What it does, the locked one, it'll lock the one before it. It means that you can't go backwards. You can only, so if I click on these, nothing happens. You can only press Next and go forward. You can't go backwards with it. Now, it's not an option that I like to use. In fact, I've never used it. I don't really see myself ever using it either. But if you did need it, you know how to do it now. But before we go, there is something very important you need to know about these different settings. So if I go back to Close Preview, and I go to the Player Options, and I'll go to the one that I wanted, the one I was originally on, which is Restricted, press OK. Press OK again. Now you won't have seen it, but I've actually just... Now I've just made some little modifications to this course just to show you something. I'm going to show you what it would be like if you did this for the first time ever. I preview this. I'm going to preview the entire project. Remember, I've gone for that option where you can go forward, you can go backwards if you visit the slides, you can jump around, but they're all essentially locked down. Now, if we go to Start, I want to go next, but I can't because it's greyed out. You've got to wait about four seconds. There you go. I can now go next. And again, it's greyed out once again. You've got to wait, you've got to wait, you've got to wait. So it's about four seconds or so. Now, I can go backwards. I can do everything I want. And those next buttons are available once again. The start button's available. So it's all perfect when I revisit the slide. But every time I go to a new slide, it's greyed out and it takes about four seconds or so before I can actually get any further. Why is that? 
Now I'll show you why. It's because, if I go to this slide here, you'll be able to see it. If you go to the player and you change the menu to restricted, and I think locked as well, but definitely restricted, what happens is the next button only becomes available at the end of that timeline. So it's actually six seconds that we're waiting for. So on this slide here as well, it's going to be four seconds on this one here. The next button is not available until after four seconds. But there is a little workaround. And in fact, I'm just going to prove this to you. So I'm going to preview. So I'll preview this slide. Let's see how long it takes. So one, two, three, four, five. And there we go. It's about four seconds. It should be four seconds. I'm just not very perfect at counting seconds. But you can see that it took a little bit of time, which I'll be honest with you, as a user, is quite annoying because you know the text, there might not be much on the screen. I just want to press next. So how do you get around this? The way to get around it is to create a trigger for the next button. And the trigger is as follows. So go to create a new trigger. And you want to change state of next button set to normal when the timeline starts on this slide so what will happen if i press ok on that one you got that there if i preview this now it should be pretty much instant certainly within a second so preview this slide next one's grayed out there you go it's available so you can see it's under a second. So it's, it's once the timeline is loaded on this slide, it's available and the user can press next. If I preview this with all of them, just to show you that, you know, some slides I've not applied it to and that slide I have, you can see the difference from a user experience point of view. So first slide, this is the start button. This one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there you go, next. One, there you go, perfect. This is the slide in which I've applied that trigger to, to create the next button to start as soon as a timeline loads. So if you are locking down your navigation, which is absolutely fine to do, make sure you use this. And once you do have it, if you just click on it and control C, you can then apply it to the other slides as well. There you go. So just to prove that to you, I'll preview the entire project and you should see that I'll be able to navigate through it pretty quickly. Let's give it a chance to load. So it's the start button, click start, there you go. next is available, grayed out, available, grayed out, available. So you can see it's, it's just as the timeline is loading. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, write comments down below. You got any questions? You know, Put them in the comments. I'll, I'm always looking for new videos to create relating to storyline. And now you know how to lock down and unlock a menu.